Hey, friends. Hi. I am Mr. Brian, and my pronouns are he and him. And down here or over there, wherever your screen is, is... I'm Miss Madison, and my pronouns are she and her. And this is lesson... Four. Four. Boom. Of text to performance two. Two. And today is going to be all about voice. And before we get into that, last week we were jamming on movement and we talked about good old Laban, or you know what? That's the only way that we're gonna pronounce it. So Laban, okay? And we talked about the different types of movement. We talked about slow, fast, light, heavy, direct, indirect. And right now, why don't you just walk around, choose, choose, th- choose like one, two, or three of those, move around the space while I talk and talk and talk, not too long because you know, it's probably early where you are or it's not. Time is a thing. Anyway, this week we are talking about voice and we are talking about voice specifically in terms of how in the text, uh, the meaning behind it, which is uh, subtext. Subtext, the meaning beneath the words. So for example, if I were to say, hello, what do I mean? Am I happy to see you? Or Miss Madison, how would you say hello? Hello. She is very clearly excited to see you, isn't she? Maybe. No, not at all. All right. But Um, I was acting. She was was acting. 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 All right, Quispers. All right, right now, um, we are going to talk also about the, uh, including the five W's, the who, what, where, when, and why, the given circumstances. And we're going to explore uh, a little bit with the text as well. We're going to get to it. But before we do, let's check in a little bit with how we're feeling today. So I want you, I want you to think about how you're feeling today. Put on your thinking caps real quick. And I want you to think of one word that describes how you're feeling today. And I'm going to say today, we're not, we're not going to not know. So I don't know is not an option today. I want you to think of one word. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? And all right, got that word? Excellent. And now what I want you to do, I want you to clap your hands together, rub your hands together, rub your hands together, and look at your hands. Don't look at me. Look at your hands. And when I say open up, I want you to open up and I want you to feel the energy in front of you. Feel the energy in front of you. Some of us might carry a lot. Some of us might carry a little. And I ask you to check in with how you're feeling today, because I want you to take that energy that you have with you, focus it into a ball, and feel that ball of energy in front of you, however big it is. And since you know how you're feeling today, take that energy and put it, distribute it where you need it. Maybe you're feeling a little wiggly. Maybe you feel like vocally you need a little more energy. I want you to take that energy, acknowledge how we're feeling, distribute it, take it. And now take a big deep breath in. And let's bring ourselves into the space and warm up with Ms. Madison. Alrighty, friends, so we need to warm up and let's remember why we warm up. That is because we need to warm up our three tools of an actor. We got three of them. They are, say them with me, body, body, voice, voice, and imagination. Imagination. So those are our three tools of an actor and we need to warm all of them up. So even though today we're focusing on our voice, we have to warm up all of our tools because they all work together at all the times. So we're using all of them every time. All right, here we go, friends. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's pull out our imaginary actor backpacks. Put them on our back. We're going to reach behind and unzip and pull out a giant crayon. Strap it to your head and draw circles on the ceiling with your giant crayon. With your giant crayon. Nice. Noise, noise, and switch directions, switch directions. Noise, noise, noise. And take that crayon off, break it in half, strap it to your shoulders, and draw circles. See, I feel like I'm disappearing in my virtual, okay. And draw circles on the walls, draw circles on the walls. This virtual background makes me feel like I'm on a stage and I want to act more. And draw circles forward, 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 forward. And take your crayons off, throw them away. Say bye crayons. Get out of here, I'll see you later, but I love you. All right, deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Beautiful. And now we have to clean all of those things, all of the circles that we just drew all over our houses. We gotta clean them up or our grownups will be mad, all right? And it's always good to clean up after ourselves. So we're gonna reach with the other hand into your in our actor backpack and pull out your magical, see, see, there we go. And pull out our magical cleaning towel. And clean, 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 clean. 
clean, 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 clean the bottom of the stage and the curtain and the moon and the little sign. Clean, 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 clean. And throw that towel away. Bye, towel. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Take your backpack off your shoulders. Whoop. Put it on the floor in front of you and pull out a basketball and dribble. Dribble, 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 dribble. Ooh. And switch. <gasps> dribble, 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 dribble. And in between your hands. If you're standing up, in between your legs. Really fast. And super slow. Super slow. Very good. Take that basketball. We're going to throw it up in the air as high as you can. Ready? One, two, three, go. And as it falls, we're going to count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Bounce it on your elbow. And your other elbow. And your head. And where else can we bounce it, Mr. Brian? On our chin. I can. And we can bounce it on our shoulder. And our other shoulder. We can bounce it on our belly. We can bounce it on our foot. <laughs> you can't see it, but mine's is it's really impressive. It's I really see impressive. it. It's believable. It's right here. And catch that basketball. Oh, we can spin it on our finger. Gosh, we're so good at that. Oh no, Mr. Brian dropped it. Yeah. It's okay, but I'm really good at it. So no worries, no worries. Yeah. Here we go. Catch that basketball. And using all of your superhero strength, you're gonna crush it. Oh, it's so hard to crush, it's so hard to crush. Ah! And into a gumball. What flavor is your gumball, Mr. Brian? Uh, my gumball is cherry. Mine's cookie dough, pop it in your mouth. And give me five really big twos. One, two, three, four, five. Nice, blow a little bubble, a medium bubble a big bubble and pop it uh, and say oh no. oh no it's all over me it's all over me get it up 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 get it up, get it up, get it up. and flick that gum away say get out of here gum nice all right friends now we're gonna warm up our voice so repeat after me ba 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 ba. Da da. Da da. Da da. Da da. Da 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 Mama, 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 na 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 Sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-sa-
behind what the word you're actually saying. So like earlier, that example when I said, hello, versus Ms. Madison. Hello. Same word, two different, <laughs> two different meanings. That's right. And so uh, to do this, this is something that uh, actors use called subtext, the meaning underneath the word. All right, this is also why submarines go underwater. Get it? Submarine, below the water. I know, blowing your mind here. All right, so let me see. I'm going to need a volunteer. I need a volunteer. Is there anyone on? I need someone with a background on the stage. No, yes, Miss Madison, fantastic. Thank you. All right. Uh, it was tough. It was between you and. Fantastic. All right. And now, <laughs> using only the word banana, I want you to guess what you think I'm really saying. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> banana. Ooh, I think you're saying, how dare you? And she is absolutely 100%. Correct. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. All right, Ms. Madison, your turn. I want to see Ooh. if I can guess. Okay, can I say the word more than once? Oh yeah, you could say it as many times as you want. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Banana? Banana. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, when you said that, I was thinking you were saying, really, me? Stop. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, Miss Madison brought up a actually, great. Well, if we're being really oh. technical, it was me. You're crazy. <laughs> but same, same general idea. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> but Miss Madison brought up a great point. Uh, that word, um, you could play with it, whether it be repeating it or stretching it, volume, uh, the I guess the rhythm of it is what I'm trying to say to get that meaning across. All right, and whatever the word is, combining facial expression, combining gesture will also help get it across. All right, now, let me see one more example, Ms. Madison, I want you to do it. Take banana and I want you to see if you can say it to me using facial expression and gesture. And I'm gonna try and guess. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Gotta put on my serious actor clothes, scarf, all right. <clears throat> Jacket, beret. All right. Glasses. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Banana. Banana. All right, friends. What do you think Miss Madison was saying? What do you think Miss Madison was saying? Take a moment. Take a moment. Miss Madison, what were you saying? What do you think I was saying, Mr. Madison? That's a great question. That's a great question. Can you give it to me one more time? Yeah. yeah. Put on your actor's beret, whatever you need. Yeah. Banana! Banana! Well, um, let me see if I can articulate this. What's that? I was speaking to a great number of people. I think you were calling to action. I want to say that, yeah? Yes, yes. Not as specific as probably you had it, I'm sure, but. It was a call to action. It was certainly. a call to action, Fan certainly. fantastic. All right, friends, now your turn. I want you at home to take the word banana and I want you to give it a different meaning. I want you to right now, you can take a few seconds, take a few seconds, find somebody, whether it be someone next to you, whether it be to yourself in the mirror, whether it be to your Yoda next to you. What I want you to do now is say banana, but I want you to give it a completely different, <laughs> completely different meaning, all right? All right, don't think about it too hard. I want you to give it a different meaning on the count of three, all right? Focus on that one spot. If it's on the computer, at yourself, at someone else, at a stuffed animal, at a pet, whoever, whatever. Focus on them, not on me. Listen to the sound of my voice. On the count of three, I want you to say banana to that person or object. One, two, three. Banana. Banana. 
How'd it go? Good. All right, fantastic. All right, I want you to give it one more try. Now give it a completely different meaning so you can experience that same word, but with a different meaning entirely. So whatever you did before, put it away and give it a different one. Reach in that backpack, I love that. Reach in that backpack and pull out a different meaning, put it in your brains, all right? You're all certified surgeons now, so don't worry, USB's got you. All right, and on the count of three, one, two, three, how'd it go fantastic all right all right now that you've experienced that i want to move on because we're going to play with that a little bit more in depth with miss madison and i'll let her introduce the next part all righty friends so now we are going to start looking at some dialogue remember dialogue is when two or more people are talking to each other and here we go <gasps> A script, nope. Here we go, here we go. Baby, we're waiting, we're waiting for Miss Madison to figure out Zoom. Here we go, script, look at that. Boom. So we're gonna take um, this first little thing here. We are gonna take uh, this little scene and Mr. Bride and I are going to read it completely neutral. All right, so we're going to be complete, no emotion, no gesture, nothing. All right, uh, Mr. Brian's going to be A and I'm going to be B, and that's how we know which lines to say. Go ahead, Mr. Brian, completely neutral. Okay, so I, I, I can't move my face. Just you just can't. No, don't move your, don't move your face, or don't have any emotion. Don't have any gesture. Got no it. acting. Okay. No nothing. You. Yes. What are you doing here? I came to see you. So friends, could you tell who we were or what we were doing? No, right? So now we need to look at the five W's. This is the who, the what, the when, the where, and the why. All right, so Mr. Brian, let's make some stuff up. Who do, who are we? Well, let's have a relationship. So uh, uh, the who, my friends, is the relationship between people. Are we, um, are we brother and sister? Are we father and daughter? Are we co-workers? Are we two kids on the playground? Are we baby monkeys? Oh, right. uh, you can't say baby monkeys and not have me. No. <laughs> so we are baby monkeys. So we're monkeys. gonna be baby monkeys, okay? Now the what is what's happening here? What is the situation? What is the problem? What is the conflict? So what do you think, Mr. Brian? Two baby monkeys. You, yes, what are you doing here? I came to see you. Um, we are swinging from the trees. Nice. Yeah. All right, who, what, when, when does this story take place? Well, this happens uh, after uh, monkey school. Oh, good, so in the yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Of course, as we all know, monkey school is in the morning. Yeah. All right, so we are baby monkeys. We are swinging from the vines and it is after monkey school. So maybe we're a little bit, uh, maybe we're really high energy because we're excited to be out of school. Who, what, when, where, we already kind of settled that. We're, we're in the jungle or we're in a place with vines, which is probably the jungle. Now the why, the why is why. Um, the wh why, what does the story say? What does the story say? I think the story tells the story of friendship. What are you doing here? I came to see you. That's nice. All right. So let's try it, Mr. Brian. We're baby monkeys. <laughs> yes? What are you doing here? I came to see you. And scene. scene. All right. Very nice. Let's do one more, friends, and then we're going to have you do it as well. All right. So, neutral. Neutral. Okay. Who is that? It's me. Open the door. Did you get it? Yes. Let's see it. Ooh. So, this one has a little bit more intrigue. Maybe it's a mystery. So let's go who? What is the relationship? Who are we, Mr. Brian? Hmm, who is that? It's me. Open the door. I'm going to say it is they are father and daughter. 
Okay. Great. Um, who? Where? Where are they? Where is the door? Maybe at their house. Yeah. So, some friends, sometimes it can be really simple and not baby monkeys, but fun to be baby monkeys too. Good to play with both. Um, so we're at the house. Who? What? When? When is this happening? Um, it is happening at night. Great. When and where? Home. Who, oh, <laughs> who, what, what, friends, <laughs> where is the what, what is happening, what is happening, we're at home, what is happening, what is the thing, so for this, there's a really, did you get it, yes, let's see it, what is the thing that we're seeing, what do you think, what if it's a, I have an idea, what if it's a, um, it's like a driver's license, oh, that's good, that's yeah, good. yeah, Some. That gives us both something to play with. Um, got my driver's license. Woo -woo! And why? Why is this happening? What is the story saying? Hmm. This story is saying, uh, who's that? I'm open the door. They are not letting him in till we see that driver's license because <laughs> really excited for that license. Yes. All right. So it's you. You've sent me out and told me not to come home. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm gonna knock to cue you in. That's great. I love it. Who is that? It's me. Open the door. Mm. Did you get it? Yes. Let's see it. Thank you, and scene. scene. All right, friends, so now um, with you, so friends, take one of these, so you can actually take any of these. Let me see if I can get, I guess, any of these four. All right, take any of these little scenes, one, two, three, or four, and try them with somebody in your home. So this, um, this whole little thing is in our description. All right, so you can find this, uh, this scene of this. <laughs> Ooh. you can find this script sometimes when you lose your train of thought you just gotta riff it out and that's what I want you to remember all right so friends you can grab this um script these scenes these scripts from our description and you can try them first try it neutral then with whoever you're doing it with try it you could be with your dog or your cat um then try it with then figure out what it is, what is about the who, what, when, where, why, five W's, and then try it again and see what has to change. So you'll notice that Mr. Brian and I, when we were neutral, right, there's no moving of anything. But when we're trying to put um, intention and meaning onto it, we have to move our bodies. We have to use our voices. And that's how we, that's how it gets across to the audience, what we're trying to say. So go do that, pause the video. And you're back. I hope those scenes were amazing. I hope you learned a little bit about the subtext. All right, and now we're gonna friends. One more thing. So I hope you did your little mini script scenes. Um, and then, and now we are going to look at a, a little line from our story and see if we can figure out how we can use our bodies and our voices, how we would add subtext to it. So I'm going to share my screen. Mufaro's beautiful daughters. All right, here we go. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's remember that Manyara and um, Niasha are Mufaro's beautiful daughters. They're sisters. And Manyara is not a nice gal. All right. She is not nice at all all um and she really they have been invited to go meet the king to see which one he would like to be queen and manyara really wants to go alone because she's worried that niasha will be picked and manyara will not be picked all right and manyara really wants to be queen so what she's saying to her father is but my father manyara said sweetly and we know that manyara is not sweet all right it would be painful for either of us to leave you, even to be wife to the king. I know Niasha would grieve to death if she were parted from you. I am strong, 
send me to the city and let poor Niasha be happy here with you. So she is, so there is subtext in this. Why, Mr. Brian? Uh, there's subtext in here because what is being what is being said isn't the same as what is meant behind the words. Mm, yes, very, very true. So here we go. Um, Mr. Bryant, I'm going to say this. Okay. And see if, so I said it neutrally, see if you can figure out what changes. I'm going to say um, just, hoo, 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 I'm going to say just the first part because it's kind of a long line. So here we go. Actually, I'm going to say the second part. I know Niasha. All right, here okay. we go. So neutral first. <clears throat> I know Niasha would grieve to death if she were parted from you. I am strong. Send me to the city and let poor Niasha be happy here with you. All right. Yeah. Now I'm going to add some gesture and some voice. Here we go. I know Niasha would grieve to death if she were parted from you. I am strong. Send me to the city and let poor Niasha be happy here with you. What changed? Well, there's definitely a lot more... I guess uh, you definitely, uh, I'm trying to say this word, my words aren't working now, Ms. Madison. Um, it out. The objective was a lot clearer, the, uh, the goal. You were really trying to get, go after what you wanted and you were trying to be a lot more sweeter with your voice and your body and trying, trying to connect with, uh, with father in this moment. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Brian. All right, friends, so let's review. We focused a lot on voice today and a lot on our subtext. So remember that when you are acting, you have to be putting intention behind what you are saying. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. It's just like one of those blank scenes, right? But if you are using your tools of an actor, you're using your voice and you're using your body, then we start to understand what you're trying to do, what you're trying to get at. And we're going to talk a little bit more in the coming weeks about um, objectives and our goals. But that's kind of where we're starting. So you can practice in your everyday life um, by, you know, adding a little bit more emotion into the way that you speak. And I bet people will start to understand you a little bit better, even if they understand you pretty well already. All right. And now, friends, we need to check out because it is the end of drama class. We need to check out about how we're feeling. So everybody think about how you're feeling. Think about how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. and pull it out of your little mind goo and if it's a positive emotion that's great if it's a negative emotion that's totally fine too if it's a positive emotion so positive emotion friends hear me hear me hear me you're just gonna sprinkle it sprinkle it down around you and you're gonna sprinkle it out to the world negative emotion friends still just be holding it Negative emotion, friends. So positive, we're spreading it. Negative emotion, friends. I want you to take it and make it really, really small. Make it really, really small. And take a look at it. And say, it's okay. And you're going to put it in your pocket. You're not going to spread it, but you're not going to get rid of it. You're just going to be with it. Alrighty, friends. So wherever your emotions were, negative, positive, doesn't matter. Let's take a deep breath in all together. And a deep breath out. Uno más. Beautiful. And that is the end of drama class. We will see you next week for lesson five. Bye. Bye.